I'm gonna tell you a little secret, and I hope my mother's not watching. Growing up, my best friend Jedediah lived right next door. One year, he got walkie-talkies for Christmas. My mother hated those things because Jedediah gave me one because of my best friend status, and we would be hitting that talk button until late into the night. But my mother thought I turned it off at bedtime. Why did she think this? Because I told her I did. And of course, to this day, this was the only untruth I ever told her. Well, now there's a new fangled walkie-talkie that has lost that talk button and moved up in the world. And when I say up, I mean from the hand to the arm. Here's Albert Lawrence to explain. We live in a world of instant connectivity, or so we think. If we try to communicate with someone far away, we stop, grab our smartphone, text a message, dial a number. It's not always so instantaneous. This is Jesse Robbins, inventor and trained firefighter. And the disc in his hand is the hardware that lets you talk to anyone anywhere on the planet with just a little tap. I took a trip to San Francisco, California to learn more about Jesse's two innovations, a network called Orion and a device called Onyx. So what is Onyx and what's Orion? The Orion Network connects teams of people together um, in real time. So we work across a constellation of devices, including Onyx, which is the device I'm wearing here, cell phones, smart devices, and allows them to just push a button, talk, and be heard at any distance, wherever they are in the world, instantaneously. It took Jesse and his partner, Greg Albrecht, five years to build a proprietary network from the ground up that works across thousands of different phones, browsers, and apps with latency as low as 250 milliseconds. So Jesse, what inspired you to come up with the idea for the Onyx? I uh, am an engineer and I'm also a trained firefighter and we use public safety radios like this, which really do give people superpowers and the ability to, you know, just press a button and talk and be heard. But this weighs a lot, really, really expensive. The inspiration really was a little bit of this background and perhaps a little bit of Star Trek. Ah, a little bit of Star Trek in there. Okay, so the, the sci-fi element. I can feel that I can push and click some things, yep. but how would I operate it? You literally just press the top in and talk. Push to talk. Push to talk, yeah. Oh. I downloaded the Orion app onto my smartphone, paired it with the Onyx, and went down on the street to talk with Jesse. Hey, Albert, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. You got me? Yeah, there you are on the street. So, Jesse, you're saying that I don't have to just be on this block in order for us to communicate? I could be on the other side of the city, on the other side of the state. Anywhere in the world where you've got a network connection. That gave me an idea. Can you hear me now? I'm at Coit Tower. Yeah, you sound great. Can you hear me now? I'm at the Fisherman's Wharf. Yeah, you sound great up there. Jesse, can you hear me now? I'm at the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, yeah, you sound great. Uh, How long are we gonna do this? Battery lasts 12 hours, right? 